Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you how to install Exodus ROM on your OnePlus One. This is the XDA link of that ROM. Just go and uh, I am going to give you this link in the video description below. There is one more uh, OnePlus One forum post is there. I am going to give this link also. This ROM is uh, developed by the XDA developer called Martin Ro. First go and download the latest version of the ROM. You will get from this link. and it will show all the supported devices from here take this beacon because it's the code name for oneplus one and look for the latest version of uh, rom on top of the, top of the page and you can see this is the 240 mb size and this is the rom zip file this is changelog and this is md5 you just need to download this rom file itself just go and download this file and if you go to the other link you can find many options like you need to download G apps okay I'm going to give a link on the link of G apps in the video description below and besides that if you uh, never flashed any C CM12 versions before you need to flash the bacon firmware as well I'm going to give all the links in the video description below so go and download them here you can see this is the ROM file this is the firmware file and this is the gapps file so copy these three files to your oneplus one see i copied all three files to my oneplus one now i am going to restart my phone to recovery mode i'm using twfe if you never flashed any recovery there is a link in the description which will show you how to flash twrp and all so to get enter into recovery mode i have to press volume down and power button at the same time press and hold them until this logo comes then release them So you can see it's loaded into Twitter BRP. From here, you better take an Android backup of your current ROM. So if something goes wrong, you can always restore it later. After doing the did with the Android backup, just go to wipe and then click on advanced wipe and then choose everything except this internal storage and USB OTG. So you can, you can flash Dalvik system and data and cache. So otherwise you can also do this swipe to factory reset option as well but it's always like it's better you flash the system also like system data and then cache because these four options are preferred to flash okay that is done now go back and then go back to the main screen then choose install and then browse for the download ROM file so before installing the ROM if you never flashed any CM12 versions then only you need to flash this bacon firmware if you already flashed that one leave it you don't need to do that so okay that firmware is done now home install now flash the exodus that is the ROM file After that, I go back home again and click on install. This time, install the G apps. Select the G apps, G apps file and then swipe, swipe to flash it. So the installation is done. Now reboot the system. So it started showing the boot animation. Remember that the first reboot will take some time, so please be patient. Now it's welcome into Exodus. And installing the apps so from this screen finalize the installation with all these settings select your language and then give your Wi-Fi information and provide your Gmail details and if you want to restore the applications you can do that and the Google services so you can see it's loaded into the ROM so this is the ROM window if you go to the settings menu about phone you can find I'm using Exodus which is based on Android 5.0.2 and this is based on version, kernel version everything is here 
So it uses the Exodus version. As this ROM supports OT update, I can al already see that one update is available. So if you want to see the full review of this ROM, I'm going to give you a link in the description below. Just go and check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.